The general formulation of a key result goes something like from A to B by a deadline. A is a requirement and B is a result. For example, A is a market share of 20%. We want B which is 22%. And we want that to be achieved in one month. That's simple, isn't it? What would be A and B in the context where you operate? Start with the time scale and the objective. Work backwards in time. What do you need for the final touch? What are the requirements for the final touch? This is your A. B is the result of the work involved with the key result. Now find the right wording for A and B. Enter the precondition, the A, and try to assign a number to it. The main thing is that the precondition at the beginning of the work can be measured. Likewise the result B, when the work is finished. This is how we measure progress. Often, key results are interrelated in that the results of one key result are the conditions for its follower. Navigate to the board now with your team and try to create the key results. Collaboration makes you strong and innovative. The board makes it possible. You are done describing the key results when they represent a plan from today to goal. If all key results are achieved, then the goal, or objective, should also be achieved.